Hey everybody, I'm Matt Long from Candy Dig at Sand Tools and um, today I'm going to show you a little trick how to use these uh, PVC pipe tubes to create the most fabulous and simple sandcastle turrets that you've ever experienced. Uh, Candy Dig at Sand Tools has a beautiful line of products and this is one of the ones I am most proud of. Every sand sculptor in the world has, who makes castles um, has one of these in their toolkit and you're going to love having it yourself. Alright, so stay tuned for a Candy Dig at Sand Tools education moment. Okay, are you ready then to get your first instruction on how to use these beautiful tube forms for castle turrets? Here we go. I wet the sand and pack it down. Eat every sand sculpture you ever made. Wetting the sand, packing it down good. Can't emphasize that enough. Now I take the candy bigger tube form, set it in place where I want it. And the first thing I'm going to do is add sand about halfway up. So that the sand is completely and thoroughly saturated. Give it a little shake, make sure the water gets down to the bottom. Get a little more sand. And keep packing it down. Pack it a little, give it a shake. Make sure that everything settles down and Packing is working for you. Okay, here we go. We're just about ready to slide this off. And here's the trick. You're kind of watching here. Once the water settles out, that's the moment you want to start taking it up. If you let it set too long, sometimes you stick and you kind of tap it to get it out and stuff. But here we go. Straight up. Just come straight up. perfect slurry in order to create the point on top of my tower. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a handful of this slurry, very quickly bring it up top, give it a little jiggle, and nothing more. If you tap or you try too hard to shape this or smack it around, it's going to uh, fracture the connection between the grains and you'll be starting over. Just a little bit, you get it up there, hold it in place carefully. And you'll get used to doing this, but it's also, you know, the, the, the sand at the beach that you're on is going to determine how you handle it, and how long you have to hold it, and things like that. But you'll figure it out real quick after trying it a few times. It's not really hard to get a handle on it. I'm give this one more piece to top get a decent point and you see that I like to start my shaping with my hands before I go to any tools. You can work just with tools but the hands save a lot of time and they are, they are indeed a pretty good tool. So now that I've got my tower top on, the molded base from our tubular forms, I'm going to shave this a little bit uh, I'm looking for a little concave contour to my, to my tower top. Kind of like a Hershey kiss as opposed to straight out, you know. It seems to have a little more character. I like that. Alrighty. We'll reach around the back there once. So you try and get some uniformity, but you know it is a sand castle, so we're not going for perfection. We're just getting something whimsical and fun. What I want to do now is next, now that I have this tower with the roof, I'm going to create the roof line all down here. So I take the same tool and I run it around in a circle, all the way around. 
to have that line nice and defined. I'm going to reach in, pull away that loose sand without hitting the top roof line. Where this is going, right? A little stronger tool right here. You can't shave down. Don't dig, don't chop. If you wind up with a big hole, you'll have to fix or start over. There we go. Work this around. Slight taper from here down. I like that. Once we get it shaped up pretty good, we can cut those crenellations into the roof line that really are one of the main characteristics of a tower in a sand castle or even a real castle. Actually, a little bit of sand, we dig a little bit in, take it away. Then to make sure it's a tower, it's got to have windows. Oh, I want to see something that change it up. You can do that as much as you like. And if we can throw a couple of windows in here, a little tiny detail shape in here works great for that. I like to go from the top end to bottom. And again, don't dig and chop, just a little bit of sand at a time, you see here. Enough to get a nice shadow. And one more. I like this window configuration because I don't have to get a dead perfect level across the top or in the center. And they so they stagger their way down and it gives the impression that maybe inside this castle tower there's a nice spiral staircase that uh, the beautiful prince or princess are climbing. And then we just clean up some of the loose sand with our shaper, with our <laughs> manually powered pneumatic sandblaster. If you pack the sand right, only the loose stuff blows away and the rest remains in place. If you want to hit it with the Can You Dig It brush, it puts a nice finish on your wall. And then the last trick, if you're up on the pile and you want to make this look a little more dramatic, you just take this down around here, use your hands, run that sand up. And that's about it for our tower lesson today, using the Can You Dig It Sand Tools tubular forms. We have it in a six inch and a three inch tube for different sized towers. You can place towers here and there and everywhere, connect them with walls. You can see how much you can do with these and how much time it saves rather than hand stacking this all the way up. So um, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you'll come back again. We'll tackle some stairs or stones or some other elements of the sandcastle uh, on our tower. And uh, glad to have you. Come back. Come back often. Go to CanYouDigIt.com and get yourself some tools.